try to catch some big northerns. I'm going to start out with this big MEP spinner, Sartreuse, with a little leader here. See if we can catch any big northerns. in the weeds to eat that thing. Yeah. Get him in here. I just lift him in. Oh. First one of the day here. Get this hook out. Man, he inhaled it too. We're gonna eat this one. Put him in here. There, my dad's got one, guys. Is he big? My dad's hooked up here. Let's see how big he is. Let's see how decent this is. Oh, he's nice. Bigger than mine. Oh, yeah. Got him. Nice fish. That's a nice one there. We actually decided not to keep this one because he's 32 and a half inches, so. We're gonna let him get back and get bigger, so let's throw him back. Alrighty, I'm gonna switch to a swim bait. So we're switching to this big spinner bait here instead. <clears throat> See if we can catch ourselves a big pike on this. Here we go. Now, we got our pike right here dispatched, but uh. It was a really slow day of pike fishing. We couldn't actually catch any more besides my dad's 32 and a half inch and this small one that we're gonna eat right here. Anyways, we're gonna flay up this this pike here and I actually learned how to do this boneless. I know people, they're always really a boneless, a bony fish, but you can actually do them boneless. So I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. First thing you do is you go right behind the head cut straight down about uh about half an inch to an inch down probably half an inch then you're gonna cut straight across I'm just gonna do that until you get to this fin right here once you get to that fin then you're gonna cut straight up and right there's your first boneless piece you're gonna have five pieces at the end all right so the next piece that you're gonna get off of these pike are these two sections from here straight across from here straight across so here's how it looks cut straight down like that and you're just gonna cut it just like this and look how nice and neat that is lay that one there and you're gonna do the other side just like that there's the other one now, that's only three pieces. You get, now I said you're supposed to get five, so what you do, your last two pieces that you're gonna get off of this thing, is there's a line, a bone, 
that runs right here about a half an inch away from the edge of the skin there's a bone that runs right here and bone that runs right here you're gonna cut on the edge of that let me show you from this angle here a little bit closer here the bone like I said is right here cut on the edge of that where there's no bone and then you're gonna have a boneless flay at the end by the time you cut all the way down as you can see there starting to fall away the meat almost got her here and you're just gonna cut right here straight down like you would to start a filet and you're almost done at this point And then all you do, once you get to that point, cut that way, cut that way. And then you got a good amount of meat. I'm gonna do the other side just like that. Here's the other side. And then, so we got all the meat portioned up into chunks that we want. Let's go cook them up. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of oil. I'm on high heat right now. We want to heat it way up before we put the fish on because we almost kind of want to sear them first. And then we're just going to spread this out. So, we don't got seasonings on the fish yet, but once we lay them out here, we'll start set, putting seasonings on them. So, it's, it's kind of hot. Start setting the fish on there right now. Strip pieces of them. There. Add a little bit of salt to them. Pepper is really good on fish. Whatever this stuff is. Hopefully this tastes good. We're going to add a little bit of that to them. Good amount of that actually. And then the last thing we're adding is a little bit of paprika. That gives fish actually a really good flavor. You can probably flip them now. Oh yeah. These are going to be good. Come on. This is when we actually use butter. This is the time that we use butter. Get a little bit of butter out of here. Make it go everywhere. More than that. We're going to add just a little bit of lime juice into the crevices of the fish right here. This will uh, kind of soak into the fish and make them taste better. Pull them off of here. Last one. Here's all the fish here. As you can see. They're going to be really good, I bet. I've had pike before, and they actually taste really good, so let's taste them. I'm going to have to wear my sunglasses because of how sunny it is, but... Anyways, here we go. Show you that piece first. Looks juicy in the middle. A little bit of crust on the outside. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Pike is good. I always... I always love pike. Oh yeah. Anyways, now we're gonna try the first filet that we got off the fish. See if that tastes very good. Let's see, let's taste it. It's like a nugget, kind of. 
as you can see. And that tastes the same. It's really good also. Mm. All right, we got our last little piece of fish here. And it's gone. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more pike fishing, leave a comment down below. Um, like this video. Um, I need to um get back, do some more catfishing also. So stay tuned for maybe some catfishing videos. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.